Hi everyone! Uh, I look different, that's because I'm using a different model, because uh, it's easier to set up and I'm fucking sick as hell right now with COVID. Which is kind of why I haven't really been uploading lately, but uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, if there's a lot of jump cuts in this one, uh, that's just because uh, I still have coughing fits. And I don't think you guys want to hear me cough a lot. Kind of hurts to hear, I think. <laughs> Alright. Looks like behemoths are in. Yeah, they're all the rage amongst rebel witches for judgment. <laughs> I think I can help if you're interested. Oh, I think I did this. Uh, sure. I'm all ears. We be the behemoth know each other's names. If you knew the name of the behemoth possessing Greth, any ritual you might perform to free her would be more likely to succeed. It's perfect. Tell me their name. Uh, I know we're partners in crime. I'm not about to give up one of my siblings. Not for free, at least. Am I not paying enough for you already? The deck stuff is one thing. This is another matter. Alright, what do you want? Don't fret, I just want a bit of that delicious power you're harvesting. Five units of fire to betray a fellow behemoth, plus two of air to release their name to you, which is... Mmm, you don't need to answer right now. Save up, decide if you're interested or not. And when the time comes to try to free Greth, you just put, let that energy flow to me and I'll whisper the behemoth's name into your ear. I see. It's not too high of a cost, right? Just a bit of magic for your dear mentor. It's not the amount, but the thought of what you're planning to do with it. So afraid of me after all this time. Just cautious. I'm sure you're a forbidden entity for a reason. Suit yourself. But I'll say it again, I am on your side. Trust needs time. I understand. Well, you let me know if you want to take me up on my offer when the time comes. Have fun! Um... Can I make a card? Possibly. Yeah, I think I can make one. Um, we could do the road. If I could find something that fits for it. That works. And... Sure. Let's see what I can make with this. Yeah, I think this works. It looks kind of simplistic, but I think that's gonna work for now. Let's see what this gets me. Roots. We walk the road alone for everyone to see. The gunslinger is an avatar of resilience and exploration. Hunter becomes an audacious accomplice. The obsidian sledgehammer fixates on offering empowering revelations. Meanings, guide, discovery, determination, rightfulness, leadership, purpose, alliance. Okay. Should be enough. Let's go ahead and uh, work on this.
Which Fortuna? My friend Jasa is always telling me about you. And she just told me you're allowed to receive visitors now. Congratulations! Sorry for contacting you so abruptly, but I think your div divinatory arts could help me regarding a theme of a personal project. And I'm in a bit of a desperate situation. Luis. Sure. Invite. Uh, welcome. Well, welcome. Uh, hi. What's your name? Fortuna. Your your name is Fortuna. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. Your name is Luis, right? No need to be so nervous. Any friend of Jasmine is welcome here. Uh. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just I've heard so many things about you, and that I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity or something. Oh yeah? What have you heard? Uh, all, all good things. I, I, don't worry. Mostly for Jasmine. She loves you and misses you so much. You, you know that? I, I miss her a lot too. Why don't you take a deep breath and uh, tell me a bit about yourself? Uh, okay, sorry. My name is Luis, and, uh, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. It's okay, how about I ask you some questions? Would that be alright? Okay, that's good, thank you. Let's see. Uh, what's your specialty? Oh, right. I'm a pith weaver. That sounds cool. What does it mean? I can harvest mortals intellecty? What the fuck does that mean? It's a magic substance that divides one's behavior and desires. A single mortal barely produces enough thread, but if you find a community with a rich collective subconscious, you can weave whole clothes and capes. Well, that's hard to picture, but uh, it sounds fun. And these clothes you craft have magical properties, I imagine. That's right. It depends on the kind of community you pull the thread, thread from. As a quick example, the yarn extracted from a band of artists can make a lovely scarf that stimulates the wearer's creativity. I love it already. Always something so type for you. What kind of tell lucky would you fancy most? Uh... No. No. No, I... Let's just say astronauts. <laughs> well, no one's ever asked me to harvest from them. I'm excited to see what comes of this. If I get the chance, I'll bring you a nice cloth as a thank you present for having me. Thank you so much. Do you want to know anything else? You make it sound like that this is an interrogation. <laughs> no, no, sorry. I'm having a good time. But it's easier for me to ask for you to ask me things. Sure. Uh, let's see. How do you know Jasmine? Uh, she hired me to weave a special net to gather dew from her greenhouse. It's one of the projects I'm most proud of. I harvested the Intelleki. The. In, it's Intelleki. Intelleki. From de desert nomads to make it. The dew filtered through this net makes an astounding base substance for all kinds of flower based potions. Jasmine's bruise became quite popular after my contribution. It's been centuries since I had something for Jasmine. I can't wait to try this improved version. Together, we also developed some magical tea bags that multiply the fragrance of dried mixtures. That is so cool. Now I, s now I see how you two became close. Both you and Jasmine are super crafty. It's gotta be so much fun to find someone to share your passion with. It is indeed. I always have a great time with Jasmine. Nice. More questions? Let's see. What do you like to do in your spare time? 
Oh, mm, I love reading, playing my multi-neck bass, and spying on mortals. Oh, that's weird. Reading? Uh, oh, uh, is it not hip to read anymore? Hip? <laughs> oh god, I was kidding. The odd, the odd part was spying on mortals. I'm a bit curious about that multi-neck bass, too, to be honest. Uh, I play a custom bass guitar with three decks since I have multiple arms and all that. But I don't play it in front of people. I only use it to meditate. It's really soothing to weave several deep melodies together. I like the idea. I wish I could hear it someday. What about spying on mortals? I love making myself invisible and just watching them go about their lives. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Comparing lifestyles from many different cultures and planets. After many years of observation, I gained the, the ability to perceive their intellecty. That's how I found my calling and developed my pith, we pith weaving. That's so interesting. I didn't care much about mortals even back when I was one of them. I guess there's a great deal to learn from mortality too, isn't there? Yes, I love mortals. I could tell. Uh, I, I hope it isn't too weird. It's perfectly fine, don't worry. Is there anything else you want to know? Let's see. Uh, why did you come to see me? Uh, yes, better get to business. I'm here precisely because of my pith weaver skills. As I explained, the intellect key from mortal, mortals varies depending on the community they're in and the lives they lead. The universe provides enough different contexts to find whichever, whichever kind of energy fits your purposes. But of course, uh, there's, there's the shortcut of manipulating mortals to produce the substance you need. For example, you can add lust serum to the water supply of a community to harvest massive amounts of sexual energy from their or What the fuck? Quite an example. And not that I tried this more than once. I usually prefer, prefer all natural chaos spread into Lucky. Thing, the thing is, Adina saw a lot of potential in one of my projects. It started when humanity was forced to build massive dub cities all over planet Earth. Many projects had to start on time, and a huge number of cities were lost due to the relentless advance of scorching sand swords, or sand swords. And then the survivors gathered around the fluctuating domes and fought for their resources. I felt an imperative need to witness that massive event. It all oozed in otherworldly energy, so I spent decades sweating thread from it. And as it happens, that substance can create a an extremely be effective weapon for capturing behemoths. What? Really? How so? Earth's intellect intellect was highly contaminated. It was as if the whole planet's fate had somehow been sealed. And behemoths happened to be extremely susceptible to, real to reality altering arts. I use that substance to weave gladiator-like webs that can suck any entangled behemoth dry of their magic. You can also graf uh, craft decent pieces of armor against behemoth spells. Uh, and why is Dana so interested in developing such armaments? The cosmic echoes warn her that behemoths will threaten the coven, so she wants to prepare accordingly. The problem is that even with such a tremendous phenomenon, I only managed to pull it out to craft one set of weapon armor. And Adina is set on developing a massive weapon to erase behemoths from this plane of existence entirely. I don't believe I have what it takes to see this through. What do you need to make this happen exactly? Adina discovers that if you promote war and stir conflict in this new society, the reality altering arts that engulf the planet try to fight back. As if everyone is programmed to preserve the status quo. In this process, humanity's intellect once again shows the characteristics it had when the massive change happened. And I can harvest it. Uh, so what are you? Mm. 
What? Athena tasked me t with provoking World War III. Do you want me to help you cause it? Can you? What the fuck? Maybe. We can use my deck to look for a way to make it possible. Uh, what's the matter? Don't you think that driving a civilization to, uh, I don't know... Is it causing total war evil? Yuri, I'm sorry. I spent too much time confined and I've lost touch with reality. I came to you in, hope, in the hope of avoiding hurting anyone. I love mortals. It's hard enough for me to stay away or refrain from saving every single one of them. How am I supposed to lure them into conflicts? Okay, okay, I get you. Let's look at your options through my deck, okay? Yes, please. I need you to tell me exactly what you want to ask the duck. First, what's the, the most important thing? What should I do with Earth? That's if, if I should do anything at all with it. Understood? Then... This is a bit embarrassing. But I happen to be in love with a mortal. That's totally cool. The thing is, he doesn't know I'm a witch. I present myself to him in the form of a regular woman. He's a scavenger that survives outside the domes. He doesn't have an easy life. It breaks my heart and I wish I could save him. I'm afraid to show him my true nature. I'm sure he's noticed that there's something special about me, but still... How are you supposed- How do you hide the extra arms, though, if you- Okay. So, that's another question. What should I do about my mortal lover? My advice is to not get attached to mortals. They wither too fast. But sure, let's check what the cards have to say about him. Yes, please. I'd also like to know how to handle it. Ad Adana. Handle her? I'm sure she's going to be really upset when she finds out I want to quit. I don't want to be expelled or exiled. Is there any way to escape her wrath? I wish I knew. That's going to be a hard one, but this is a new deck. Maybe I'll find a solution. I'm shuffling the cards now. Keep your questions and your thoughts. Uh, let's put this with Earth. You need to find other ways to distract reality. War is the only way to best with the established order. Take a large group of mortals to a magic domain and find their energy there. Generate small conflicts instead of a total war, or Earth won't give you what you need no matter what you do. We'll see. You need to find other ways to distract reality. War is is it the only way to best with the established order? Oh, I never looked at it that way, but that's easier said than done. Do you want me to draw an extra card to look for ideas? Wow, your deck, can your deck do that? Of course, we, we can explore any comp sets we want. Card reading is just for divination. In fact, I feel the cards work at their best when you use it for reflection. How cool. Um, yeah, let's do here. A chance of books to pick up extremely popular among Earth leagues and make them want to change their ways. Add and have them into the Earth, ripe of resources that give mortals an easy way to reach it. Form a pact of benign deities that they move to Earth with less mortal lives. Uh huh. I think the moon idea would would uh, work. Oh, that is wild. Earth's face is going to have a hard time trying to fix that. The reality art altering intellect is going to it's going to overflow for the planet. I love it. If you're going to solve things as a witch, you should own it, Luis. The universe is big, but thought can be even bigger. My mentor always said that there is endless solutions to a problem. And it is us witches, more than anyone, who should entertain as many as possible. 
That's a valuable lesson indeed. I'll treasure it. Thank you for your thank your mentor for me. And thank you and your wonderful deck for the solution. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. New set set up your home there and invite the mortal to live with you. This slowly open up to him. He doesn't love you. He's just taking advantage of you because you provide for him. Kidnap him and make him live here. No, um... Let's say move to Earth. Mm, that sounds like a nice way to reduce the shock. And the, idea, and the idea of two of us living together sounds quite nice, to be honest. This is a beautiful solution. Thank you so much, Fortuna. Don't take too much time, though. Mortals are not eternal. Okay, okay, I'll make it quick. Two years max. Sounds like a plan. Can't wait to set up shop on Earth. And Adina. Open up to Adina. She'll be surprisingly understanding and work with you to find middle ground. Seed out to Adina. Rebellion will bring you real happiness no matter the cost. Um, open up to her. You think so? I'm as surprised as you knowing Adina's character. But the deck is starting with it. I've never seen it fail. Wow, well, it's definitely surprising, but it's good news. I should have put more trust in our leader's judgment. I'll speak with her, and I'll let you know how it goes. I wish you the best. Yeah, that was an intense session. I've had my fortune run before, but it's never felt like this. You sure I something else, Fortuna? I'm just happy to help. I'll let you know how everything plays out. That is if you're capable of visiting again, of course. You're always welcome, my house leads. Any friend of Jasmine's is a friend of mine. Just put me over here, actually. Okay, um... Likewise. I'm a bit drained after so much divination. See you soon. Oh, that's nice. Alright, let's see who this is. Hey, Fortuna. How did it go with Greth? I came up with some of my own ideas on how to help her, but I could use your input. Let me know when I can visit. Dahlia. Yeah, we, we can invite her. Hey, Forts. Hey, Dahlia. I know it's been two centuries, but I still don't like any abbreviations of, of my name. Oh, shoot. I thought Forts would work. We've been through this too many times. I don't like Fort. I don't like Forty. I especially don't like Tuna. <laughs> but Tuna's so cute. Not funny. Okay, okay. So, you found a way to help her up? Right! I've been researching some exorcism methods, and I found some censored texts. They don't mention behemoths explicitly, but they might be the perfect solution for this case. There is a way to quite literally sever extra dimensional beings from a, from a witch. Oh yeah? How? With an enchanted blade. I'm going to forge a daemon bone dagger to cut that bastard down. It sounds... dangerous. I know my way around knives, trust me. You're right, you're right. And you mentioned you need my help with this? That's correct. For the ritual to be most effective, I need to imbue the dagger of an essence a kindred to Greth. I was wondering, since so you put her through your wonderful deck, maybe you could put me to the proper energy? But 
When do you know us? You've known Grath way longer than I have. I know, but I can't wrap my head around her. She's so self-absorbed, always focused on her projects. I realize I can't really tell. You don't need to disclose any sensitive information to me, but I've experienced firsthand on how decisive your divination can be. You did read the cards for her, right? Yes. Perfect. Your guess should be better than mine, then. What energy should I be the dagger with? Mm. Determination or individualism? Uh. Determination. Huh, that is a powerful essence. Agreth is driven. Agreth is a driven one, isn't she? All right, I'll smith the most impressive dagger. Just you wait, Greth. You're welcome. <laughs> well, goodbye, Dahlia. Another one. Dear Fortuna, thank you so much for helping my friend Louise. I hope she didn't bother you. I've never imagined she'd do something as, as, whole, as bold as contacting you directly. I want to know how it went with, between you two. Can I come over? Your friend, Jasmine. Sure. Hello, Fortuna. How are you doing? Uh, fine, I guess. Happy to see you. <sighs> it feels so good to be able to meet, meet again like this. I only wish I get to see your guardian again. It must be beautiful after all this time. I'm pretty proud of it. In due time, I'll be happy to show you everything. Until then, I brought you this. It's a blue iris. This is beautiful, thank you. This flower is the bringer of hope. A charm for faith, wisdom, and understanding. I thought I'd put the energy at the room and help you with your fortune telling. I love it, thank you so much. So, Louise came to visit you. That's right. I'm so sorry, I should have consulted with you before telling anyone. I just wanted to share the joy of having my friend back. I didn't expect her to come and see you out of the blue. It's alright, don't worry about it. She seems like a nice girl. She is a very gentle soul. I hope you are able to help her. She's in a pretty delicate situation, to be honest. Oh, is she in trouble? What's going on with Louise? I shouldn't disclose any consultation. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. You should ask her yourself. If she's alright with sharing, I'll be happy to tell you more about it. You are absolutely right. I'll pay her a visit to see what's going on. She seems a bit stressed lately. She could use the, she could use the help, yes. In fact, I'm gonna head to her place now. Do you need anything? It's alright, go. Bye bye. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Hmm? What is it? On um, second thought, never mind. Is something the matter? No, no, I'm sorry. I was about to ask for your help with something, but I realize it's not my place to tell anyone about it. Hmm. You'll let me know if you're in any trouble, right? Yes, yes, don't worry. It's alright. Okay, take care, Fertina. Yeah, I don't really trust her to know about Grath's itch issue. Dear Fertina, Dahlia has given me a magic dagger to perform an exorcism. Have you found anything else? Is it alright if I come over so we could try the ritual together? Hugs, Greth. Um, let me see if I can make another card.
sure. We could do use that. I guess that works. It's a little cluttered, but it's a good color palette at least. Oh, to lust. The Moonstone Temple is a great gateway to elimination. The Duchess holds the key to pure bliss. This fairy is a gateway to corruption, but also strength. The Arbiter's Bug puts this revelation in front of the many eyes. Meanings, happiness, temptation, alliance, leadership, purpose. Yeah, that works. Alright, let's invite Greth. Hey, how are you feeling? Mmm, corrupted. The behemoth is beginning to take my thoughts, and I don't like how powerful it feels. You still want to see this through, or...? Of course I want to. I'm way too proud to let this extra-dimensional asshole take all the credit. <laughs> I feel you. Okay. What did you find? Let's use everything in our arsenal. The ritual mainly revolve around Dahlia's demon bow and dagger. It truly is a work of art. Here, look. Beautiful. How could Dahlia be so talented? She told me that you helped to create it? Uh, I just shared some insight with her. What about? She wanted to know what kind of essence to use to enchant the dagger. To craft a blade that has the highest affinity with you. So that's why she called the dagger the driven, huh? Not bad for Tuna, not bad. Thanks for the compliment, but in any case. I always try to help. <laughs> You're so cute when you get shy. Well, thanks for the flirting. <laughs> Stop it. Let's focus on the ritual. So, first of all, do you mind if I summon a fate master's disc to check on my chances of success? Of course, but what's a fate master's disc? Of course, it was invented about 80 years ago by Jun Risha, the mathematician witch. So you want to know about it. It's a special sigil that reads fate's chance. When you find yourself before a critical and identify all identifiable turning point in your life. You can kind of you can bind your soul to discs or reach the probability of whatever you want to happen. Wow, I like it. Sounds like a great companion to my deck. In short, we can read how effective whatever actions we perform in the ritual ritual will be. Knowing the percentage may not change anything though, it's just for peace of mind. On the contrary, it sounds really useful. As per the third principle of divination, just as just the act of observing your chances affects your chances. Hmm, I didn't consider it that way. I hope it affects them for the best. Anyway, here's the desk. Oh. My chances aren't as good as I'd hope. It's no small thing exercising a behemoth. But we haven't taken everything into account yet. Let's turn fate in, in our favor. You're right, I must be strong. Okay then, can you run me through the specifics of the ritual? It's more straightforward than I thought it would be. Most of the heavy work has already been done by Dahlia, crafting this magnificent dagger. I brought Dahlia out to speed about what your card said. 
about how I need to embrace the behemoth, her answer was displayed. You need to stab me in the heart. What? No! Don't panic, the blade is enchanted to pierce not only through my flesh, but also through my quintessence. That will open a cr crack in my soul, allow the behemoth to fully, ins fully inside me. Then you can remove the dagger, and they will be trapped. I never stabbed anyone in my life! It's not so much stabbing as, uh... Precision cooking? The fuck? You do cook, right? Yeah, I know my way around kitchen knives, but this... I can't do it myself, Fertitta. I believe in you. Why don't we call Dolly and have her cut you? No. I want you to do it. I feel a special connection to you. I... Look, the percentage of the disc just went up from me explaining this to you. We're on the white path. Dahlia told me that the ritual would be more effective the stronger our bond is. I pretty much opened up my, about myself to you in a way I haven't for ages. So, I believe a shortcut to make our bond more powerful would be if you told me something intimate about yourself. The less people know about it, the better. Uh, okay. Tell me s something secret about yourself. Uh... I summoned a behemoth too. Shut up. You're putting your life in my hands, so I guess it's only fair I do the same. Evermore, show yourself. Holy cosmos. How is this possible? No one knows about this, not even my closest friends. Why do you have a behemoth? I don't have him, we're partners. I'm really talky today because I summoned him. I couldn't endure my exile anymore. So I called upon him and we're working together to, to regain my freedom. Everyone is going to tell me how to channel Arcana to build my own deck. I owe him my life. That is, for lack of a better word, so cool. I can feel so good to say it out loud to another person. Thank you for understanding. Are you kidding? I'm like the ideal audience for that kind of revelation. <laughs> Checks aside, thank you for trusting me. I feel really fortunate. And this goes without saying, but you can rely on me. Now we're sisters of the Forbidden. <laughs> the, the best kind of sisterhood there is. Evermore, you can leave us now. Understood. Trying to put me under the knife? Uh, I'm not ready yet. You'll never be more ready than now. And I'm ready to accept any consequences. Just let me meditate for a couple of minutes, just to gather my focus, okay? Two whole minutes, and I have. Sure. Thank you. Moment of truth. Have you made a decision? Do you want me to pay for the behemoth's name? Yes. Allow me to absorb your energy, then. Hmm. Delicious. Ah, the fragrance of conflict. Hereby, I release my sibling's name. Gaetherian. Thank you, Abramore. Uh, your service. You still there? Yes, I'm ready. I learned your behemoth's name. Gaetherian. That's, like, hard to pronounce. Whoa, the Fate Master's disc went wild. How did you do that? I made a mental pact with Abramore. I purchased your behemoth's name from him. Purchased? I hope you did to put yourself at risk for me, Fortuna. Don't worry, it wasn't that expensive. I think. Thank you so much for give, going the extra mile for me. We sisters of the Forbidden must stand together, right? <laughs> You're right. Ready for some stabbing? Don't say it like that. Sorry, I was just trying to blow out some steam. Our ideas of what constitutes relaxing differ dramatically, Greth. It looks like you're relaxed, though. I guess that's the most 
it put a thing here. Okay, I'm going to insert the dagger now. Are you ready? Do it. It worked, Fortuna! We did it! Oh, thank the cosmos. I felt like my heart was about to explode. How are you feeling? Better than ever. Whoa. Graph your eyes. What's the matter? They're behemoth like? Oh, uh, God. Grep still keeps reminding me of my <laughs> Pathfinder character. Uh, past Pathfinder character. It's great. That bad? I mean, aesthetically, it's pretty cool. But I think the ritual may have gone wrong at some point. No, no, it, it went perfectly fine, I assure you. I went through, like, this Ted spout with a behemoth that felt like it lasted eons. But we ended up forming a pact. We're partners now. Just like you and Avermore. Uh, maybe you saw that issue. But the fact you summoned a behemoth is still quite visible. I see. Well, the way I feel now, Fortuna. All the knowledge and power I've just gained, it's worth the price. Now I just need to figure out how to deal with Adina. Ah. Uh, okay. What are you gonna do? Mm. My initial impulse is to flee. But I'm too proud to not face Adina directly. So I guess that before I do anything rash, I'll retire to the gym school belt and meditate on all my options. I'm sorry the ritual didn't go as expected. But I'm still with you. Let me know if I can help you in any other way. I will. Thank you for everything, Fortuna. And hey, I'm not going away empty-handed. Now I have you. <laughs> I'm happy to meet I'm happy I met you too. Okay. I better leave now. I hope to see you soon. Yeah, me too. Take care. Well, that just happened. Um, another one. Dear Fortuna, I'd like to visit you once again, and that's okay. I'd like to tell you how I went with Dana. Sure. Thank you for having me. Hello, Luis. So, how did it go? You have given me the best possible advice. It's just a matter of being more forthcoming and putting in some trust in our leader. She was a very welcoming to the idea of creating a new moon, especially if you consider the cost of such a feat. But when I reframed it as a display of our power before the other, other covens, she suddenly became quite enthusiastic. What a pure heart. Hey, all is well that ends well. I made up my mind. I'm moving to Earth. I put some thought into what you told me, and you're right. It solves many problems. I'll get to be close to my love. I'll be able to slowly open up to him, plus I get to protect him. I can't wait to start my new life with him. He changed my life, Fortuna. Got rid of some stupid shackles I had put on myself. I'm so happy to hear that. I was worried my deck would cause you trouble. I brought you a present. Oh, what is it? It's a pith cloth. I harvested the thread from a space station. Here. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it is beautiful. I humbly accept it. It's but a token of my gratitude. I hope one day I could truly repay you. There's no need. This is more than enough. Leaving courtesy aside, I'm serious. Let me know if you ever need my help. Thank you, I will. Take care, Fortuna. 
likewise. What a busy life all of a sudden, huh? How are you feeling? I still miss being able to leave the house. Well, in due time, my friend. We've made a lot of progress in a matter of days, what do you say? Yes, you're right. I should focus on enjoying this. That's a spirit. So, what are your plans now? Mm -hmm. My biggest concern is still Adina. Sooner or later, she's going to find out about my new deck. If I want to be free, I'll need to deal with her at some point. Well, the cosmic wheel is already in motion. Look how quickly you reconnected with the coven. Just stay alert and seize any opportunity the universe throws at us. How do you do it? Manipulate fate. You tell me. We're not so different. Not really. I mean, I get to read into possible futures. But escaping from Adana's sentence was an impossibility until I summoned you. Are you sure? It was by your will that I appeared. You're the one making the jigsaw fall into place. Hmm... Are you suggesting I'm the one that created you? What? <laughs> Please, witch. I was just trying to encourage you. You have me lying. You're paying a high price for all this. Don't forget it. But you summoned me. That speaks volumes about the power of your will. Have more faith in yourself. Okay, okay, no need to mock me. Look, a falcon arrived. Oh, could it be for Thea? Okay, I think here is a good stopping point. I've been recording for almost an hour. And I just saw the uh, little save thing, so... Hopefully, next time I record something, I will be feeling a bit better. And, before anyone asks, I do plan on using my 3D models. Um, it's just, I, I bought this one recently, so I want to use it a little bit. But, my 3D models aren't going to be gone for forever. Um, I plan on mixing, uh, mixing the two. Or, using both, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I hope everyone has a good day. See you next time.